This Spotlight on Sales and Marketing is sponsored by Covenant Reliance Producers. We build success stories. For more information, please visit crproducers.com. Executive pay remained relatively flat in 2009, according to SNL Financial's 2010 Executive Compensation Review. The report found that the average CEO base salary in the industry fell 0.86%. Meanwhile, multi-line and property casualty CEOs saw base salary increases of 5.81% and 4.26% respectively, while life and health and managed care CEOs saw declines of 16.21% and 12.21%. However, the report also noted that base salary is just a small component of overall compensations, averaging just 20.53% in 2009. Securities America Inc. has named Jim Nagengast as its new chief executive. Nagengast, who has been the company's president since 2008, replaces Steve McWhorter, who announced his retirement earlier this year. Nagengast says he feels optimistic about the company's future, suggesting that consolidation within the industry will create new opportunities. Many broker-dealers are going to be faced with the question of whether to remain in the business, he said. Securities America is currently dealing with a lawsuit brought by the Massachusetts Securities Division which alleges that the company failed to reveal pertinent information to investors about high-risk notes issued by Medical Capital Holdings, Inc., which was charged with fraud by the Securities and Exchange Commission last year. According to Nagengas, quote, We feel strongly we did our due diligence, a significant amount, before approving the first five Medical Capital series of notes. LPL Investment Holdings, Inc. reported this week that it had 12,066 affiliated reps and advisors in its brokerage network at the end of June, down from 12,489 one year earlier. Late last year, LPL brought reps and advisors from three other firms onto the LPL platform, but many eventually left the company. In addition, LPL said that it had suffered from debt restricting this year. The company said it, quote, redeemed all of its senior unsecured subordinated notes, strengthening the balance sheet and enhancing financial flexibility. The decline in income for the firm's six months and second quarter of 2010 is largely attributed to non-operating expenses incurred in connection with this debt retirement." Unquote. Overall, LPL saw its net income fall 48.7% during the quarter to $8 million. However, adjusted net income was $46.4 million, up 69% from the same period last year. Finally, quarterly net revenue rose to approximately $790 million, an 18.1% increase. For more industry spotlights, visit producersweb.com.